The ideas I express in the following pitch may already be in a game or movie, and I may just not know about it. However, if they are in a game or movie that I do know about, I simply don't feel that they live up to the potential of said ideas. Hi, I'm back with more video game pitches. Now, it's been a while since I recorded one of these, and I've had a bunch of different ideas since then, so... Rather than a bunch of different videos, I don't really want people to have to spend a lot of time scrolling through my uploaded videos and, if, you know, going past stuff they don't particularly care about. I'm going to put all these in the same video, but, you know, in the description box I will put, like, you know, time codes for when which idea appears in case just one of them interests you or something. So, one idea I had is basically a either first person or third person version of something like Commandos. The important thing is there's only one person, you you know, you don't have a team. And the only way you can dispatch of enemies is by luring them into traps by making noise or, you know, yeah, just d distracting them towards something and then maybe you've dug a hole in the path that you you're now leading them on so, you know, they fall into that hole. Basically, you know, if you get spotted, if you get noticed directly, there's nothing you can do. Maybe you even like fail the mission and have to start from a checkpoint or something. But yeah, basically the only approach is to constantly be hidden and to figure out how to do traps. I just think that that would be an interesting sort of gameplay experience. That that wouldn't just be something you could do, but it would be the only way to get ahead. Another idea I've had is basically take the escort game mode of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Revelations and, you know, for one thing maybe add, you know, modern guns. And I would like for it to be something like, it, it should still have the freedom of movement, at least for the team uh, assassinating VIPs. But the team escorting VIPs, maybe they have to stay close to the VIPs, at least within a certain know, radius of the VIP, but they have some resources, limited amount of resources, so they can, say, dispatch a group of AI-controlled men to, you know, if there's a really obvious sniping position, you know, they could say, okay, you know what? have some men check out that area, but you know, they can't just, you know, let's say there are maybe three different really good sniping positions, they maybe only have enough men to send to one or two of them, you know, something like that, so, and, and another, a vital aspect of it is that there is only one attempt to kill the, the VIP, you know, if, if a shot is fired, and it doesn't kill the VIP, then the VIP gets moved to a secure area where they can't get to him. And it doesn't matter if that shot was, you know, going for the VIP, or if it was, like, you know, if it was actually one of the VIP hunters, you know, shooting one of the, you know, escort AIs that have, you know, found their hideout. If, if they get discovered, then it's a failure. You know, because even if they do kill everyone who was sent there, you know, that means radio silence for, you know, the escorts, you know, within the this small radius of the VIP, and, yeah, you know, he's going to get moved to a secure area. Yeah, something like that, I think it could be interesting. Another idea, also Assassin's Creed, inspired... Actually, Assassin's Creed Revelations does do some, this to some extent, but I would like... Maybe it should be single instead of multiplayer, but it could maybe also work in multiplayer. Basically, my idea is that you don't know exactly who your target is. You, like, you know, at first you basically don't really have intel. You just know, well, he's somewhere in this crowd of people, and as you you know, proceed, you get more and more details that narrow it down, like gender, height, you know, ethnicity, stuff like that. And as you, you know, spend this time getting more and more certain who your target is, it also becomes more dangerous to, 
you know, assassinate your target. I don't know, maybe there'd be like, you know, maybe eventually they get to, you know, an area where they have guards waiting for them, armed guards that are going to try to take you out. It's something like that. I'm, I don't really have ideas for exactly how it would get more dangerous, but I just like this double pressure idea of, you know, if you attack too soon, you're going to get the wrong person. You're, you might get the wrong person. You could also get lucky. And if you wait too long, that's also, you know, just that, that there's this kind of pressure from both sides. Finally, real-time strategy. I would love if you could, like, tell units and buildings, you know, give, give like, a basic set of orders that sort of, you know, basically how to deal with this or that situation. Let's say you have an anti-infantry tank unit. You have a tank which is effective against infantry. It would be really great if you could tell that tank or maybe that entire, like every tank of that type, you know, maybe even like when you produce tanks at all, at the building where you produce tanks, you can tell it this tank, which is good against infantry, attack infantry, you know, so that whether you're attacking the enemy base with it or you're using it as part of your defense, it'll seek out and attack infantry. And maybe add to that that it would, you know, avoid units that are strong against it, so avoid anti tank units, you know, and yeah, th th this kind of, and and maybe also the, to tell it, you know, since you are an anti-infantry unit, defend those units which are weak against infantry, you know, yeah, things like that. Maybe also static-based defenses, tell them, you know, if you, yeah, let's say you have a base defense which is really strong against tanks, tell it, focus on tanks, you know, it's really annoying when you're being attacked by tanks and troops and it's spending a lot of effort firing rockets at this infantryman, which, you know, would be much better handled by something with a machine gun or something, you know, not, not, not real life, obviously, but in video games, that's how it tends to work. And then there are, of course, also just, I play a lot of Age of Empires 2. Shut up, it's still a good game. I don't care that it's like almost 15 years old now. I really can't stand how sometimes, I don't think it happens in many other games, but like villagers will build themselves into a, a corner where, you know, if you had handheld them, which this is what I'm really talking about. I. I'm really tired of hand-holding in real-time strategy. I think it should be about who manages their funds, army, and base defenses, and, and builds up their base better. You know, I'm not saying that I want just to you know, be able to press a button and the game plays itself. No, I just want to be able to focus on these things. It's, it's, it's really annoying to always have to babysit base, base defense. Every group that I'm sending out to attack other enemies, you know, if you're facing, let's say you're playing as eight, you know, eight, there are eight players in total, so you have to, you know, you may have to attack several of those seven other at the same time just to, you know, keep it going, to keep them away from your base, various reasons. It's really annoying to have to babysit every single one of those groups, you know. But, but yes, Age of Empires 2, I would really love if you could just tell villagers, how about you just go for, for example, food, just go for food in this area, you know, they'll, they'll, I'll, I'll tell them to hunt wild boar, and they'll get that done, and then maybe they'll, they won't even attack the next wild boar, they'll just stand around and wait, okay, what now, you know, I'd also really love if it just said, you know what, you have a, a worker who isn't doing anything, you want to put him to work, you know, if, Maybe that should be like an on-off setting in the options menu, because obviously that could get annoying, but it could also be really helpful. I personally hate static, or static, you know, I hate workers that aren't doing anything. I feel like it, there's probably something they could be doing, you know. Also, if you could tell workers, and this goes for all RTS, not just Age of Empires 2, repair 
buildings in this area. Maybe again, like tell them focus on you know focus on this or that base defense building. You know, let's say you have a worker in an area which is focusing on repairing anti tank base defenses, and you have one another one focused on repairing anti infantry base defenses, stuff like that. But yeah, with Age of Empires 2, if you could just tell them, you know what, this area, food, okay, food. I don't care if you're gonna fish, I don't care if you're gonna, you know, build a farm, hunt animals, do whatever, you know, go and be fruitful, just get food. I don't want to have to babysit you and tell you, okay, that's nice, you, you took all the, you, you fished all the fish away from there, there's an animal right there, you could kill it. Do, do I need to string the bow for you? You know, just, yeah. And maybe also, like, when, when, when trying to scout areas. You know, Age of Empires 2, this might be true for other real-time strategy games, but frankly, that's the one I play the most. But yeah, sometimes, you know, usually, you'll want to scout out areas. You want to see where, you know, the the enemy is, or at least where you're, you know, what, what is a good area for you to defend? You know, how, how much should you spread out your base? Where should you position base defenses? What is strategic? If you could just tell units, you know what, here's a circle, scout within that, you know, try to keep yourself alive, scout within that. Instead of, you know, having them just go around and then I mean, usually I try to give them waypoints and say, okay, cover this area, but, you know, often they end up, you know, at the end of that waypoint list and is this, they're standing still, and maybe they're standing still exactly where there are some enemies or an enemy tower, and they just get killed instead of just going further, because, you know, that's also something, in Age of Empires 2, that's actually one of the few games I know of, real-time strategy games, where you can actually tell them, you know what, Maybe you don't want to just be a zealot about following the enemy all the way to, you know, there's aggressive stance for that, sure, but there's also defensive stance, which has them returning to their original position, you know, after a while, even if they don't kill the enemy. There's stand ground so that, you know, you position some archers within your city walls, you don't want them to leave, you know, have them stand ground. But then finally, there's only stand ground and don't attack. And it, it even says in the description, they it will not the unit will not move even if it is attacked. You know, why isn't there like a why isn't part of that option stand ground and don't attack unless you're attacked? You know, in, the, in that case, maybe run. You know, that, that might be good. I, I I would love for you to try to keep yourself alive. So again, I don't have to babysit so so freaking much. You know, yeah, I think that's pretty much, yeah, that just about covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.